I would like to demonstrate the sieve analysis to you. What do we need for a sieve analysis? Of course, a sieve shaker. We need some troughs to dry the peat in. We need a scale. And we need a drying stove, which you see here at the back. I'll take you through this analysis step by step. Of course, there are waiting steps, but now for demonstration, we do it in one run. We have here a peat material, which, of which we want to have an analysis of the particle size distribution. Because I use a small screening set, I have to take 400 milliliters per subsample for the analysis. When you have a larger screen set, you need to use more material, if you can find in the description. For RHP purposes, we have made an abbreviated method description, which you can follow step by step. The first step in principle is to dry the peat material, because the screen peat air dried. That means we take a subsample, put it in this aluminium tray, and dry it in the stove for a few days, at least 48 hours, preferably three days, so you can do it over a weekend, for instance, and you do it at 40 degrees centigrade. Because I have a small screen set, 200 millimeters, not that big, I only have to use 400 milliliters per subsample, and I can do it with a simple measure by this homogeneous sample. I take 400 milliliters approx, and I put it in the trough. And these trays are very convenient because they are just big enough for this far milliliters, which makes it quite easy. I also can fill this this uh, this troughs till the edge. It should be in there, of course. So we fill in principle, we fill these troughs till the top level. You can see that. These are going on this tray and they're going in the stove for, as I said before, 72 hours, minimum 48 hours. Dry at 40 degrees centigrade in this air force. Okay, see you in 72 hours. Well, as for demonstration, I do not wait 72 hours. So we go on with this material, pretending it's air dry. Take it out of the stove. My three samples. I check if they're dry. And then we put them on the screen set. I have a standard set for RHP control, which contains an underpan, a screen of 1 mm, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 31.5 mm. I show them all to you. This is the largest one, followed by this one, 8 mm, 4 mm, 2 mm, and 1 mm. And of course, Close under the Put them on the sieve shaker and we bring in the material. On the top, gently on the top. And I close the lid. And this particular system you can find various systems, of course. This is the one we use. Carter up. And then it's called screen. Okay, you put on the machine, makes a lot of noise. It goes. This one goes very gently. Every 10 seconds it stops. Taking. And stop. Pausing. Stop. And I stopped it, but we screen for 7 minutes. And in 7 minutes, every 10 seconds, it pauses so the material can gently fall and 
find its position and go further on. After seven minutes, we can take off. And of course, this material is very fine, so we do not find anything on the top screen, but we weigh all the sieves. We know already the empty weight, and we can weigh them part by part. This one is also empty. This is very from here. You see only a few lumps. So here I have my first reading. I note these down normally in the computer or in other in your note block. You see that the finer here is material coming out. So you do measure the weight of each sheaf consequently to the bottom and see more fine material in this two millimeter screen. And we see on the one fines and the bottom so little. Well, this is a demonstration, this is not dried, normally we should uh, find more in this pan, but this is one of the reasons that we do the screening dry. When material is moist, it sticks together and will not pass the screen far enough. So therefore, air dry screening is very important when we want to determine exactly particles of distribution. In our screen we have made an Excel calculation file in which you can bring in the outcomes of the weight. There's one thing you should keep in mind. Whenever there's much fiber in peat materials, then you'll find them especially on the larger screens. Mainly on the screen 32, 31.5 mm. When we find fibers, we take them out. We release the, the material, there's some particles in it, maybe they're stuck there, we put them back, we put a screen for one minute extra on the machine, shake it for one minute, and then we do the weight. The fiber we can weigh separately, and when we do the scale weight, we put them back and we take them along into that fraction. It's all written out in the meta description, and you can find also uh, out how it works with the Excel file. This is screen analysis, especially for Arch P-Control by EN15428.